months into a pandemic. It's just hard for me to imagine that we're even in this pandemic. Christine St. Peter's making sacrifices every day to keep her family safe, especially her parents. We, you know, have left things on the doorstep and, you know, stood at the top of the driveway, but making sure that we do keep that safe distance. She also feels a calling to do her part to keep her community well. Wearing masks when we go out in public, I'm afraid people are going to become more laxed. Afraid that complacency will settle in as Washington State reopens, finally breathing new life. It comes at a time when researchers are sounding the alarm in other states, saying another wave is starting to emerge in different pockets of the U.S. Florida reported more than 8,500 new COVID-19 cases, making it the most reported in any seven-day period. Arizona asking hospitals to now activate an emergency plan after seeing a spike in ICU cases. In Texas, the Houston Chronicle reporting up to a 36% increase in hospitalization since Memorial Day. And in California, hospitalizations are at their peak since mid-May. In that list, uh, it looks like California is a bit of an outlier. Dr. Teo Voss with UW Medicine's IHME says California is an outlier because they're still seeing a surge in cases despite stricter rules than the other three states. Washington State is not a hot spot right now, but health experts are in the wait and see mode. Wondering if the recent protests will cause an uptick in cases coupled with the state reopening. But one thing is for sure, according to Dr. Voss, looking at the latest global death count. I can only be, uh, you know, more pessimistic. I think we're still in the middle of a big uh, problem. In Seattle, Hannah Kim, Q13 News. Well, we now know.